Cote de Pablo, actress and singer. Cote de Pablo, born Maria José de Pablo Fernández on November 12, 1979, in Santiago, Chile, is a Chilean-American actress and singer best known for her role as Ziva David on the popular CBS television series NCIS. Her unique mix of talents, combined with her compelling on-screen presence, has made her a fan favorite and earned her critical acclaim in the entertainment industry. Early Life and Education Cote de Pablo moved to the United States with her family when she was 10 years old, settling in Miami, Florida. Growing up in a Spanish-speaking household, she adapted to life in the U.S. while balancing her Chilean roots. She attended Arvita Middle School in Miami and later graduated from New World School of the Arts, a prestigious performing arts high school. De Pablo's passion for acting led her to Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, where she studied musical theater. During her time at Carnegie Mellon, she appeared in numerous university productions, including classic plays like The House of Bernarda Alba, A Little Night Music, and The Fantastics. Early Career After graduating from Carnegie Mellon in 2000, Cote de Pablo began her professional acting career in New York City. She landed roles in commercials, small television projects, and theater productions. One of her early jobs was co-hosting the Latin-themed talk show Control on Univision, alongside Carlos Ponce. She also appeared in the 2004 pilot episode of The Jury, a short-lived Fox legal drama, breakthrough role on NCIS. Cote de Pablo's breakthrough came in 2005 when she was cast as Ziva David, a former Mossad officer turned NCIS special agent, in the hit television show NCIS. She replaced Sasha Alexander's character, Caitlin Todd, and immediately captivated audiences with her portrayal of a strong, enigmatic, and multi-layered character. Ziva's background as an Israeli operative, coupled with her evolving dynamic with other characters, particularly Tony Dinozo, played by Michael Weatherly, became a central element of the show. Her performance earned critical praise, and in 2011, she won the ALMA Award for Outstanding Actress in a Drama Television Series. Cote de Pablo remained a central figure on NCIS for eight seasons, from 2005 to 2013. Her character's departure from the show was emotional for both the cast and fans, marking the end of an era. However, Ziva's unexpected return in the 2019-2020 season for a special storyline thrilled longtime viewers. Career Beyond NCIS After her departure from NCIS, Cote de Pablo explored new opportunities in film, television, and theater. She starred in the 2015 CBS miniseries The Dove Keepers, based on the historical novel by Alice Hoffman, which tells the story of the Siege of Masada. In the same year, she appeared in the film The 33, a drama based on the true story of the 2010 Chilean mining accident, in which she played the wife of one of the trapped miners. This role allowed her to reconnect with her Chilean heritage in a deeply personal way. In addition to her acting, Cote de Pablo has pursued her musical interests. Her vocal talents were showcased in NCIS, most notably when she sang a Spanish-language version of Tom Waits' Temptation in a memorable episode. She also contributed her voice to the 33 soundtrack. Family Children No children Parents Maria Olga Fernandez Francisco de Pablo Relatives Andrea de Pablo, sibling Francisco de Pablo, sibling Personal life and legacy Cote de Pablo is known for her privacy regarding her personal life. She has kept her relationships out of the public eye, and much of her personal philosophy revolves around maintaining a balance between her public career and private life. She continues to advocate for women's empowerment and is passionate about the arts, both in acting and music. Despite being recognized primarily for her role in NCIS, Cote de Pablo's career reflects her versatility as an actress and singer. Her portrayal of Ziva David broke new ground for female characters on television, representing a strong, intelligent woman with a complex cultural background. She remains an influential figure in Hollywood, celebrated for her talent, charisma, and ability to bring depth to every role she plays. As of 2023, Cote de Pablo continues to work in the entertainment industry, 
exploring various projects in film and television, with fans eagerly anticipating her next major role. Trivia Does her own stunts on NCIS, 2003 Has been injured while performing her own stunts on NCIS, 2003 She took a gun barrel to the face for the episode Cloak, 2008, and a shrapnel nick for the episode Enemies Foreign, 2010 Sings a song on NCIS, the official TV soundtrack, called Temptation. She performed it in the episode Last Man Standing, 2008. She was born in Santiago, Chile, but was raised in Miami. Her mother lives in Chile. Her sister lives in New York. Her father and brother live in Miami. Coat lives in L.A. She attended Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh where she studied music theater and graduated in 2000. She has a slit in her left earlobe from a childhood accident. She caught her earring on a pillowcase. Her parents are separated. Her mother lives in Chile, but they often visit each other. They bond over cooking. High school graduate of New World School of the Arts, NWSA, in Miami, Florida, class of 1996, appeared in a Volkswagen commercial in 2004 entitled Rear View, Marketing Why Medios. When she hosted the show Control, 2000, Cote went by the name Maria José de Pablo. Her mother is Maria Olga Fernandez, and her father is Francisco de Pablo. Has a sister named Andrea, and a brother named Francisco. Attended Arvita Middle School in Miami, Florida. Her brother works as a DJ for parties. Drives a Toyota Prius. Quotes. Coming from the theater, I love the adrenaline rush from working on NCIS. You get home and you're exhausted, but you feel like you've really worked. It's such a masochistic thing. In one episode, we were shooting boxed in a container, from 7 in the morning, to 12 at night. There's gunfire in the container, duh. We had to pretend the truck was moving so we had to keep ourselves moving the whole time. I remember my knees were all bruised up, because I had to fall so many times. That was taxing on the body.